see the C and I'm I see the K and I'm like, okay, they have to be pronounced differently, right? No, it's pronounced the same way. It's cuckoo. Mm -hmm. uh, Christiana versus Arok Fire, actually. That apparently went all the way to Ace Match, so curious Ooh. to see how that went. Exclamation mark Patreon will give you some instructions of how to get those replays as we jump into our first semifinals here of the evening here in the bottom right hand corner map spawning all the way in the bottom right hand corner we have our red Terran player coming out from the land of Korea he of course is going to be representing prep esports as well as all of the Terran players watching and who has played in this tournament as he is the last one remaining he is Hon Mono. And spawning in the top left hand corner of Cosmic Sapphire, we have the Ukrainian Protoss player himself representing Hot Headed Gaming. It's, 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 it's is Night Phoenix. For a split second, when for a split second in that Miller in that like millisecond pause you took between Knight and Phoenix, my brain finished like did one of those things that phones do predictive Mare? text things. Uh -huh. Yes, I was like, <laughs> ah, yes, nightmare. <laughs> Uh, maybe it's maybe it's nightmares, you know, maybe it's his flesh and blood, you know, it's very possible. We don't know. Um, how old is Nightmare by the way? <laughs> <laughs> I think Nightmare's like Oof. 26 or something like that. Yeah, yeah. No, he can't be that young. Hold on. Oh my god. I, I he think was 26 like years ago. He's I think he's relatively young, relatively, but you know, maybe Night Phoenix is har harnessing the power of Nightmare right now. Nightmare has been a Sparking Tuna Cup champion in the past. So maybe Night Phoenix is looking to do the same. Uh, going up against Hon Mono, he was locked out. Hon Mono did prioritize the wall at his ramp, so the probe scout wasn't able to see what Hon Mono was doing behind that racks. Yeah, which is actually going to be a very... Wait. No, yeah, this is fine. I A very safe uh, second base coming up here. Mm -hmm. I'm so used to seeing low ground uh, naturals being taken by Terran players that mm -hmm. I just kind of assumed that Hombono already took it. Yeah, I... And it was getting a third CC. I have to wonder. I have to wonder if Night Phoenix knows who Honmono is because Honmono has a reputation and against players who are familiar with him going for a very safe very far back natural like this it's all about mind games it's all about tricking your opponent and making them believe you're proxying or you're, or you're being hyper aggressive but if Night Phoenix isn't familiar with him then it, it could just go over his head you know yeah what's the reaction gonna be though yeah I, I mean that, uh, mm -hmm. yeah that's as much of a that's as much of an indication of how the game's gonna go as uh, as hiding it will be. Yeah, as it looks like the Marines are gonna get a bit of a surround here from the Adept. I love that three of them were hidden here at the natural base. It looks like we're good enough stutter stepping. Ooh. There we go, the Phoenix is gonna go down. Night Phoenix, for all he knows, he's up against a one base all in. But despite that, he's crazy and he's opening up Phoenix first, which is usually more of a greedy thing to do, more of a kind of, uh, you're investing into the mid game right now. You're not looking to deal damage. Like Phoenix's early on aren't what you want against one base all ins. So he's taking a bit of a risk and it's, it's kind of paying off. He's living up to his name here. He could have halooped the Phoenix, the scout uh, across the map, but he stuck to his guns, made an actual Phoenix, and is continuing to make more Phoenixes behind us. Two on one, by the way, is what Han Mono has decided to go for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and now Phoenix, he sorry, Night Phoenix, he confirms the timing of the natural base. He, he sees a production on the way as well, knows that it's no like three rags or any kind of big all in. He knows that obviously there's going to be bioaggression coming soon, TM. Uh, but he has plenty of time to prepare for it, to get a couple of gateways up, even expand and take a third. Like so. He trusted his gut, and his gut told him correct. He could afford to be a little bit more greedy in this game. Mm -hmm. Exactly, and now the Phoenixes are going to have map control. They're going to be able to pick off a couple of units. Uh, there are no NG bays, so Hon Mono is going to be relying on his positioning, on his Marines. Can he catch these Phoenixes? Almost. He almost did. Oh, 
this is so but busy. instead he's gonna yeah <laughs> with all those phoenixes out homono still decides to go for the yeah. drop <laughs> massive respect he's crazy the phoenixes they miss the drop they go in and they should recognize hold on where are all those marines they must be somewhere well they're, they're across the map yeah looking to try to get a cancel on the sir base no he dives straight for the main uh, straight for the main base, the robotics bay just finishes up and it looks like it's a little bit vulnerable. He goes on the pylon. Yeah, I like it. Gonna be canceling uh, that pretty much entirely. These marines are actually uh, almost doing a lot. Fortunately, there wasn't much target firing there towards the end. But he is still able to get a couple more a couple more probes for his trouble. Is able to delay uh, research on that robo bay. Yeah, yeah, he's able to delay extended thermal lands. We have the first Colossus on the way, but he's supply blocked because oh. of the because of the death of the pylons. So again, Hon Mono doing so much with so little despite the opener. Looks like one of the Megalax is trying to escape, but I mean, oh, can he catch <laughs> it? Oh. I mean they're in the same trajectory. What? He misses but it! <laughs> oh my god. I can't god. believe it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that Metamac yeah. has a new lease on life. Yeah, the Metamac is going back into the field, mate, because Honmono is pushing out across wow. the map. Oh my god, he's pulling the boys! You'll love to see it. I was hoping the boys might act as a bit of a distraction here for Night Phoenix, but thankfully Night Phoenix is undeterred. He's just going full on through. And at this point, there's only one vanilla Colossus Yikes. for Night Phoenix to defend all this with. Oh, this is... Here we, smart. I mean, this is this is the ideal situation here for Honmono. We have the overcharge, but the shield battery goes down immediately. We have a second tank. They actually get on siege here again. Honmono has to be very careful with how he progresses with this. The, the, the Colossus is coming forward. Yeah, of course, the Phoenixes provide a lot of crowd control and takes out the backbone of this Ooh. army. The Colossus is so low. Can it stay alive? Can it stay alive? It stays barely alive. Ugh. Despite a complete lack of shield batteries. One more second out of place in that... Colossus would have gone down. Yeah. Now Night Phoenix has a. I mean, he's still gonna lose a third, but. I mean, the third is gonna go down, but he doesn't care because Hon Mono pulled the boys. Hon Mono is all in right now. He has to end the game. A second, no, no second Colossus. An Immortal is on the way instead. That's, uh, yeah, a pretty interesting choice. But I guess he has recognized that the tanks are the major threat right now. Mm. The Marines are. They're kind of fluff. Yeah, exactly. The Marines don't pose as much of a threat. We see the Unsieged, and here we go. Night, Night Phoenix, he goes in. Ooh, it was very well timed. Uh, extended Thermal Lance did finish up. Wow. Every single tank got picked up, and these this Colossus was able to get quite a number of volleys in. Hamono, his aggression has just stopped in its tracks. Yeah, exactly. And now he has to go back home, lick his wounds. He has a third CC on the way, but again, his worker count is in shambles right now. I do think that that first unsiege of that first tank was a mistake. I don't think it was intentional um, because he re it immediately after that. So he missed out on a yeah. couple of volleys. There's a world where maybe that one tank volley could have been enough to kill that Colossus. But alas. It absolutely yeah. would have been enough. <laughs> yeah. yeah, looking at the numbers. Uh, if it got the volley off. Uh, <laughs> Meanwhile, Night Phoenix, he immediately goes for a counterattack. He doesn't want to allow Honmono to breathe. He doesn't want that worker count to, uh, to be able to get established once again. He can't find a way in yet, but he's looking for it. Yeah, Phoenix once again lifts up the tanks. And what are Marines going to do against Thermal Ed's Colossus? If only there we had that was one more tank volley, man. If only. <laughs> If only the third base is forced to be lifted up. We only have a single tank here to defend, and one tank is not going to be enough. The boys are pulled, but the Nova goes off. Uh, not that many boys do go down, but still, the zoning potential on that one uh, Nova was huge here for Night Phoenix. Vikings come in, but they're not able to kill the Colossus just yet. Yeah, exactly. And now the natural base is under threat. We do have another tank coming out. And with this, Hon Mono is going to be able to force Night Phoenix back. But again, any workers that he's losing, he just can't afford to lose. Um, as that disruptor count is just getting higher and higher. Another Nova goes off, does connect on that one tank. Uh, and behind this, Night Phoenix, he double expands. Yeah, may as well. May as well. He didn't lose anywhere near as many probes earlier on. And with the fourth uh, Nexus, I mean... He not only remade what he lost, he is so far ahead, it's not even funny. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Honmono from here, I imagine, is going to have to pull the boys again if he wants to go for another follow-up push. 
but I'm a little bit shocked because he's actually working on an NG base. So it looks like he's thinking about upgrades. He scans, he sees the third base. He sees a base, I should say. He doesn't realize that I had, uh, there was another base that was taken. Yeah. Oh, can he snipe so, the something important to uh, keep in mind. He's trying to go for the Phoenixes, which mm -hmm. can't really blame him for. I mean, that crowd control potential can essentially make or break an engagement. It's yeah. the interference matrix of Protoss. Pretty much, like it can do. Yeah. <laughs> Phoenixes can do so much. There are only two Phoenixes remaining, and again, the Vikings are doing a great job at zoning them away. Hon Mono is defending on two bases, but it's all about can he get his third up and running? His CC has been here for a while. He's been muling quite well, but he needs to land it somewhere on location. Maybe the gold. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> He can sneak it around, yeah. I don't think he can, but he's gonna try. I like that he is using the oh. CC for a little bit of vision here. Disruptor gets taken out. That's a really important pickoff. One Colossus goes down, and it's not really that much of threatening the Vikings at the moment, but the Phoenixes turn around. The Stalkers get a lot of good shots off. GG, Night Phoenix, six game number one. GG, well played. I appreciate the build there from Hon Mono. It almost worked. It barely almost worked, especially with the supply blocks that were happening, with the drop that had managed to deal a surprising amount of damage. I was hoping that maybe he could pull it off, but in the end, barely wasn't enough. And Night Phoenix does take the first game. But already, yo, Hon Mono, he's not, been, he's not missing a beat. He is already diving into game number two. He's eager. He knows what he wants to go for. He's keen. He may be. We don't know. <laughs> Maybe. He may be. Boy, here we go. Meanwhile, I did just get a couple of updates. It looks like Demi did, in fact, take down Vavin. So another ZVZ is going on off stream, unfortunately. Um, Demi did message me earlier. He's like, Papi, come cast. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> we, we, we have our semis that we have to cover instead. So they, they are juking it out at the moment. You know, well, the good news is that the winner of that immediately has a semi-finals opponent in Christiana, so and yeah, we got that ZVP to look forward to. Hmm. Soon TM as we continue our best of three series now on Data Under the Sea. Doo -doo 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 in the top right hand corner of the map, swinging all the way in the top right hand corner, we of course have our red. Terran player coming out from the land of Korea. He, of course, is going to be representing Prep Esports, not Preparatory, just Prep. He is Hon Mono. And this morning, in the bottom left hand corner of Data Under the Sea, we have the Ukrainian Protoss player himself representing Hot Headed Gaming. HHG. It is Night. Phoenix. And oh. one, once again, Hon Mono is fully walling off at the natural, but with something a little bit different behind it this time. Yep, that is a second and that is a third Rax on the way right now for Hon Mono. I do not see uh. a single CC light. This is actually... This is supply depot actually. It's oh really my low on health. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I was a, a little bit afraid uh, there. The probe <laughs> doing a surprising amount of damage, tasing away at the SCV. He wants to get in. He wants to see what the hell is going on, but he will be denied entry. And Night Phoenix doesn't know. Is it a CC or is it more Raxus? <gasps> oh my God! It's a lot <laughs> more Raxus. <laughs> it's wow. four Raxus. He's crazy. Dude. He doesn't even need add-ons at this point, although he would probably get them still. Mate, he's he's totally gonna pull the boys with this, right? Oh, he's gotta. <laughs> I, I'm also reminded. I was reminded last game when he did it that Hon Mono is the reason why you you got on like a like a like a pull the boys binge where every single like Terran <laughs> player you just wanted to pull the boy you wanted to relive your memories with Hon Mono, and here he is. He's doing it for you, Papi. Doing it. I think that's what it was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was Han Mono that did that. So, yes, I am loving Han Mono. I love you, Han Mono. Because he always gives the viewers what they want to see. Yeah, they just want to. They just want to see boys in action. You know. Yeah. 
<laughs> we'll see some boy on boy action that's, going on here. Let's go. We do have a handful of Marines moving out here just to make sure if there's anything looking to scout, he can catch it like this adept. Oh my god, the timing! Ooh. Immediately starts shooting at it once it comes off of shade. Oh. Yeah. But this is a little bit of a tell here for Night Phoenix. <gasps> this isn't. <laughs> Here we go. The boys are being pulled. The Marines are on the way. A handful of workers are left behind just to mine a handful more minerals, just to produce more Marines. But here we go. This still has not been scattered, by the way. Night Phoenix does have a safety shield battery on the way, but only two adepts. And once again, the Mad Men is going for Phoenixes. Phoenixes aren't going to help. Yeah, what are you going to do? Lift every boy? You can't lift every boy. <laughs> you can't lift every boy. You can't do it. They're boys. They can't be lifted. Yeah, not all of them anyway. Uh, exactly, and here we go. The Marines reveal themselves. The pieces are coming on out already. The Adepts go down. There's only a single Stalker, and now the Stalker's dead. Immediately, we get a GG being called. The boys did it. We are going to our ace match. GG, well played. And I Phoenix so greedy with his response two games in a row. He wasn't punished for it in the first game, going for Phoenixes, but here in game two, he was. Uh, on Mono, just beautifully executing his his build. His 4x, all in. I feel at peace now. Like <laughs> I feel like I can, yeah. Uh -huh. I feel like I uh, can continue with no regrets. There you go. In Korea? Not no regret, because, yeah, not no regret, because, you know, he plays, he coaches Zerg, not Terran, but mm -hmm. I'm I'm glad at what we just witnessed here. <laughs> oh, I'm glad as well we were able to bear witness to that disgusting cheese there from our Korean Terran, and we'll see what he has in store for us in game number three as we load into the ace match. Let's go! As we conclude our first semifinals, can't believe we're already concluding one of our semifinals, but that's what happens when you pull the boys. <laughs> Yay! Tropical Scarface. Not LE, not ESL, but at least game hard. In the bottom left hand corner map, swatting all the way in the bottom left hand corner, we of course have our red Terran player coming out from the land of Korea. He, of course, is going to be representing Prep Esports. He is Hon Mono. And spawning in the top right hand corner of Tropical Sacrifice, we have the Ukrainian Protoss player himself representing Hot Headed Gaming. HHG. It is Night Phoenix. has been on fire today he has and now hon mono is going for a very different opener actually not worrying at all about walling off yeah is he just gonna play standard i mean he still wants Night phoenix to overreact a little bit yeah that's why he is you know, getting a little bit of a pseudo proxy will he will, will night phoenix check the right hand side of the base because hon mono make wants to make it look as if he's proxying right now He's not. Oh boy, Night Phoenix. He confirms the Rax is missing. He confirms his own oh, that the two gases have been taken. Um, and yeah, he's taking the bait. He's looking for proxies. Oh, this is good for Han Mono. Oh yeah, but the Marine shows up here in the main, and now with that Han Mono reveals that okay, the Rax is at home. It's okay. He <laughs> just bumps its head and gets the probe a little bit and say, hey! <laughs> Get out of I'm here. here. <laughs> I'm real. Mm -hmm. So Hon Mono, you know, now he knows that, okay, everything is normal. The Rax is at home. was just on the right-hand side. Um, but we are going for a 1-1-1 one, one, one opener. Hon Mono is delaying his CC. Interesting. So, yeah, not even a Marine expand, not anything like that. He is swapping his add-ons around. To go for Widow Mines. Is he gonna get an armory? Oh was my. Was it Quanta that we saw do something similar to this? It was Quanta. Quanta did go for mine drops with armories. So we'll see if they have been uh, in touch with each other because we are gonna be seeing a Widow Mine drop opener here from Hon Mono. Night Phoenix. Is he crazy enough to go for Phoenix first? 
Uh, <laughs> he may, he may, and if he goes to Phoenix first, he won't have an oracle. Won't have an oracle, but there's a chance that he may run into the medevac and shut things down before things get too out of control. We'll see. First step is going to go up the red bar. Oh. Would a mind reveals itself. Mind revealed, yeah. And we do have confirmation that is an army being thrown out for a hard model. Mm -hmm. That is a phoenix being produced by Night Phoenix right now. We'll see how committed he's going to be. If he just continually gets nothing but phoenixes right now, then he's going to have to have some very quick fingers. Yeah, exactly. Like phoenixes are a great way to shut down the drop itself, the medevac, I should say, but there are just so many widow mines and phoenixes can't lift them all up. On top of that, we need oracles. We need detection here. Um, otherwise, this is just never going to be dealt with. The phoenix misses the medevac. Thankfully, you do have a robo facility on the way, but that's still going to take some time. Ooh. Mines do get borrowed, and that is why you get an armory! Okay, this should be fast. Oh, no, no, reaction! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There we go. Four Widowmine shots go off, but only five probe kills, but we still don't have any detection. Where is yeah. the Oracle? Where is the Observer? We do have a Robo on the way. There we go. The Oracle only just now started, but these Widowmines, they're going to get second shots off, and we have another Medivac coming out across the map. Only enough, I think, in the main go, base. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, there's no reaction. There's no reaction. There's no reaction. Oh, now there's no. a reaction. But it's... No! Oh, they punched it! Ah, oh, the oh. Punch it themselves up! <laughs> I don't know whether that was a cry of joy or pain light. Uh, Even as a widow mine connoisseur myself. <laughs> I saw it so clearly and I let myself believe that there was still time for that there was still time for Night Phoenix to split that. But there wasn't in the end. And with that, Night Phoenix didn't even have to play, or uh, rather, Hamoto didn't even have to do, didn't even have to play out a mid game or any kind of engagement with that. Mm -hmm. He just went in and mind dropped his opponent into submission, like the good old days of TVP. But that was kind of painful, man. I mean. <laughs> Night Phoenix, he knew what was coming. He was reacting to what was coming. Yeah. But he was just a second too late. It's one of those things where, one, first, Whoa. I thought you were going to say, Hon Mono, he didn't even have to pull the boys that game. He, <laughs> he didn't even have to pull the boys that <laughs> he didn't game. Have to pull. Well, he didn't have to pull the boys because Night Phoenix pulled the boys. Yeah, Night Phoenix, he was pulling the boys instead. Uh, <laughs> GG. Um, unfortunately, Night Phoenix was playing in the dark.